to another Warframe video, and today I'll be showing off, um, two builds, uh, Valbran and, um, another character, which, um, I'll show you, um, later. So, first off, I'm gonna show off, um, Valbran. As you can see, no helmet here, but if I, if I was gonna replace any, um, ability, it would be his three. Um, yeah. So, um, his one, I have a, um, augment that, um, allows me to, uh, just spread a lot of, um, damage when I shoot at the, um, enemy, and it will increase the, um, radius of that, and it's called Tesla Bank, I think you've heard of it before, but, um, the first ability, well, the second ability here, and the fourth ability will be the main carries. Mainly, um, I'll be using for Shetorb, but the, um, other thing that I'll, that I'll be switching around is Overdrive, which will give me more damage, and it's, like, a damage increase to everything, not just a damage increase to, like, weapons or abilities, so it will be very good. For free, um, Razor. I won't even be uh, using it when I actually have helmets on it. But anyway, um, and now the um, second ability that will carry this, uh, the fourth. There's Bastille. It will strip enemy armor and um, make them trapped. And especially with the passive, which allows you to deal extra damage to inca incapacitated enemies. This will I can't say the word, but it'll just suspend them into the air, and um, you'll be able to deal extra damage. And yeah, overdrive will actually buff uh, that passive as well. And vortex is there just to um, either um, group them up, and you can use your phantasm on them, or blind your eyes. I like this one. So um. Yep, let's go to the build. Corrosive projection because um this will make um a shorter uh time for enemies to be in Bastille to armor um, strip them. So um in the first second they will already lose thirty six percent of their armor because of um the steel and uh the aura because of the change in veil breaker. <laughs> Um, Blind Rage is the only strength mod here, because I don't want to overload it with power strength, because I don't really need to, even though I like Tesla Banks here and Fashette Orbs here, but, you know, uh, Prime Throw, because, um, we have energy issues with efficiency, and this will cost 145, but, luckily, there's no, um, energy count for when you turn a Bastille manually into a Vortex, so that's all good. And the uh, two won't take that much because it's 25 instead of uh, the usual 50. Prime Shield footage, so we don't uh, get knocked around and stuff. Prime's continuity for the duration on... Is it no race? Nope. Um, Cassette Orb and uh, Bastille slash Vortex. Um, natural talent to, um, cast everything fast off, uh, rolling guard for the, uh, survivability, and then I already talked about Tesla Bank. Um, Phantasma, I've shown this build off many times before, but, uh, just in case you haven't seen it. Uh, this is my heat inherent build, but, um, we aren't doing any heat inherent here. This is just heat and viral domain that I use. Um, multi shot with multi shot and three um, mods for the heat and viral. Um, fire rate because this is quite fast and I just want to deal more damage quickly. And the um, smite mod with finally merciless. Alright, new course showing off too many times on Serata. I'm going to be using the corrosive build here. Um, the stance doesn't matter, it's only here for capacity. Uh, spoiled strike here for the damage power throw is because since we'll be throwing this at acolytes, then um we'll be um very 
this will be very good. Um, organ shatter for the critical chance, uh, this is for the crit chance, uh, this is for more crit damage, this is here to make it, uh, corrosive because it's, uh, base toxin, this is, uh, to increase the blast radius, and this is for the, uh, damage and, uh, wind-up speed for heavy attacks. Yeah, that's basically the Valband build, let me, uh, just quickly show it off. First off, uh, the invert, I think. Wait. Alright, it doesn't affect the steel, but. And that's good. Oh, wait, I forgot. Let's kill these guys. Since I just ranked up before this video, um, I can actually make them level 110. Alright, and they're uh, gonna get all the energy. Um, yeah, this is basically what it is. And a five monsters. I can do that. Now there's only two enemies that actually are from getting to the game. To the There we go. So since it's a uh, circular thing and not where that means that um everything's gonna be like different you know now i just gotta wait for the shuttle stand up yeah so and this is uh like so the weird thing is is that i would have to use um in here i would have to use the like, coil first um right there hopefully no no This game's got me confused. Wait, what? You're actually gay, game. <laughs> okay. Oh, damn. Alright. Wait, what? Oh, they were already two. Okay. Now. Okay, hold on. There we go. It's finally working now. The Tesla Bank is the first goal. And now the Vortex and that just destroys them. Yeah, uh, we just had a bit of trouble. But anyway, time for the uh, second character and the second build. And here we have Styanax, the new character. Yet again, no helmet because, to be honest, I didn't need to. <laughs> um, yeah, Skynax is the 50th Warframe. You can get him right now by just logging in on the Veilbreaker update. But it's only for two weeks Um, ever, ever since it came out, which was the 7th of September. Well, 8th at Australia. 8, no, 2 to 3 days have gone by. So, you... So you still have time, but not a lot left to get him. But anyway, um, his first ability, it will impale a um enemy if you uh hit the enemy, but if you don't, then it will just explode. But if you put a if you impale an enemy into a surface, it will make a vortex and pull enemies in. Uh, the second ability, this is used to completely armor strip enemies. Um, and you also gain back health while also pushing them back. Uh, the third ability, you will get shields for every kill that you get. For my power strength, it's 100. And you also gain energy rate, which also affects your teammates, especially the kills as well. And then this, um, depending on your duration, it will give you more javelins to flow out, depending on your range. The explosion from each javelin will get bigger. And for power strength, it will deal more damage. And no matter what, this will always inflict a uh, slash block. So you can get some really nasty DOTs. Now, this isn't even. Oh, wait, I forgot. Just off the build. Um, energy siphon here because um, 
you can already armor strip with your two, so we don't need to use it. Um, and uh, the three will also pair well with energy siphon. Um, intensify and blind rage for the um power strength, one hundred percent armor strip. Um, hundred percent uh, shields and um six energy, while also increasing damage of the javelin, and also for the four. Um stretch here to make uh one the one two and four better the three not really need um needing strength i mean uh range it just needs strength and duration um find continuity for the duration for one i mean um three and four um blah uh yeah uh rolling guard for survivability Yet again, so you don't fall. Um, so that's why we have PSF and then more energy because of um, you know, efficiency. But even then, the free and also energy siphon and arcane energize can cover that. Discourage prime. We won't really be using this. If you want to, you can use this to prime, which um, I have made a build with this before, but um. I was gonna call it Discouraged Primer. It's because you know, Prime and then just add an R for Primer. But anyway, um, you could use this for priming or you could use this for damage. Um, it's all up to you. But I use this for one reason and it's the passive. You gain crit chance with how much shields you have and it doubles the effects of spear guns, not doubling the amount of shields you need but it will give you double the crit chance for, all, for the shields that you have. Um, the new core, yet again, have it, don't need to show it off. And Cronin, um, this is just so it can be very good. So an outcast, it's just a very good chance. Berserk and Quickening for the uh, attack speed. Khan is vulnerable for the slash and status chance. Um, Radio Might for the crit chance of crit damage, Condition Overload for the um, increased melee damage for stab effect, uh, the Smite mod for any faction, the Toxin mod, and um, range. It's kind of a basic um, build, you know, always. It's a basic build for melee. So, yeah, time to um, do this. Alright, so this first one is gonna be without weapon, which we probably won't even need it. Um, oh, well, fine. And this is a few, uh, how the enemies have a bunch of uh, slash procs from the uh, 4 because it's that good. I'll have one of them, slash procs. And now, this will be uh, with everyone getting primed. Just extra damage. But obviously, you know, um, enemies get swung around, so not really uh, easy to find them. But anyway, look at that. Max shields, 97% crit chance. I don't know if this affects abilities or weapons. By the way, from here, I think it's weapons. I don't know. Ooh. That was frustrating for me. Yeah, you can get this. Um, this war time. No, I've not shown off the Arcanon uh, yet and how well it works with this. So this is if the four so this is um out the four here. Um because I'm gonna be using the phone instead to turn it off. So yeah. Um found these enemies. Now they are not good if you can like I can Bam, look at that. Less than a second after I planned them. So um yeah, that is um 
all the builds for today. And um, if you like today's video, like, subscribe. Don't have to. Um, have a better day to me. Bye.